we go. We got uh, we got Preston. Here you go, everybody. Preston. There's Preston Malin right there. Of uh, the uh, the band Heart of Jordan. Heart oh yeah, of... a badass band. By badass the way. fucking band, fucking dude. Kicking ass. Yeah, they are, dude. They're uh, they're tearing up the music scene in uh, Northern Michigan and uh, Michigan. What are you? Are you in a fucking? Are you, is there an earthquake there? I just uh, <laughs> 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 fucking hurricane. Like, holy out. shit, oh, man. man! Hey, how you doing, man? Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> just uh, yeah, how's things hanging there, Preston? It's yeah, been uh, been a little yeah. bit since we chatted with you, and uh, I wanted to know about uh, the 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 solo acts, man. Uh, you're uh, you yeah. you've been doing like your own solo gig outside of Heart of Jordan, haven't you? Why am I all twitchy? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. That's okay. A little better. There you go. So answer the fucking question. Now I can't see you guys. No, you can only say, see, I'm, I'm switching it back so that the viewers can see you. You got all that fancy crap. I do. I, I know. Know. He, <laughs> yeah, man. We're with the times, bro. Right. Sometimes I switch it back and forth between the two so that we, <laughs> so that everybody can see you. David Hurley is saying, what's up, Preston, right now. It's uh, He's glad to see you. What's up, David? Hell yeah. So how's the uh, the David's solo good, the solo career? Uh, well, not the solo career, but the uh, the solo music and whatnot. Tell us about that. What have you been doing lately? Um, it's just something that I do when I'm bored and lack inspiration for writing metal material, I guess. Really? Yeah. Nice, dude. Wait a minute. So, uh, so uh, yeah, well, I want to hear some of this stuff. Like, what are you talking about? What you, is it not metal music you're fucking with? You, what are you doing? Some, like... No, it's, uh, different covers and just acoustic originals. Okay. Yeah. Um, like. Two days ago, I released a Temptations cover. <laughs> I saw that. I was like, wait a minute. Preston Valen's singing that. And you're hitting the notes. I mean, that was the part that I thought was amazing on that, dude. I, I was like, Yeah, because we shit, didn't know dude. you could actually hit fucking notes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Whatever. Dude. It was no. a nice blend of my sultry voice on the Heart of Jordan stuff. And it sounded great. Are dude, you, you awesome. playing the guitar on this, too? This is all you, solo. Yeah, it's just guitar, and I plug it into my ipad and go to town right on dude that's uh I, I think that's really cool i mean it shows the the dynamics of your voice not only your vocal range but the fact that you know that the music from the temptations how the fuck did you get that in the, involved i mean was that like was that a, a cd that you've had for years and you've just been jamming it behind the scenes and nobody <laughs> knew about it like how to how, tell us about um that. No, pretty much like everybody my age, if uh, The Temptations, the movie on VH1 comes on, you have to sit and watch the whole thing. Oh, and, yeah. Uh, that's where... That's where the inspiration... Love started, actually. <laughs> VH1, that brother. Shit. Wow. I love VH1. A straight, straight to TV movie. <laughs> Oh Absolutely. my god! I never would have thought that. I mean, I never would have thought that. Like you behind the scenes, you're you're jamming the Temptations. Hey, dude, it's it's a movie. Have you seen it? No, I haven't. I okay, haven't. well then maybe you'd be you inspired. Seen it? You, I haven't seen it. I'm that fucking dumb. I have no shit. clue. I've never seen it. You know what? Maybe we should make no, some Temptations have you, have you covers. Seen cool Runnings. Cool. Yeah, yeah. I love oh, Cool yeah. Runnings. That's a good John uh, Candy. The, the main guy. His name is. He only has like one name. He's like stupid, like Seal or McLovin or some stupid crap. Right. His name's Leon. Yeah. And uh, yeah, he does an amazing David Ruffin. That's cool, movie. man. That's cool. I got. I guess I'm gonna have to check that out. Is it on Netflix right now? Because I got Netflix. I've been watching a lot of. I don't even know oh, actually. All right. All right. If you have VH1, it's on every other week at least. <laughs> right. right well, I'll, uh, that key, I'll keep that in mind. Maybe I, there might be a, a VH1 app on uh, on my Hulu or my uh, Roku stick. I got the Roku stick. Oh, um, yeah? So, oh, yeah, yeah I might, might check app? that out. Hey, Preston, um, did you hear that we have a cat? <laughs> I seen your little kitty with, like, the one eye closed. I didn't know if it was, like, <laughs> winking or if it had, like, Where check is him out. something wrong check with it. Or... Yeah, there's our new cat. He's our... Uh, that's the uh, the the studio cat. We've named him One Eye Willie. You can't see him. He's black, man. He is dark. We he's got a really fucked up eye. Yeah, dude. he's all fucked up. We found him out in the backyard, and um, he we were like, Not dude, fucked we, up. It's character. Yes. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, what I mean yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, exactly. Like he was fighting with another cat at two weeks old. Right, and right. Got smashed. This kid, this dude's a scrapper, dude. From the from Little the hood. Badass. Yes. <laughs> 
Uh, but uh, yeah, we we found him and we decided to take him in, and now we've uh, we've adopted him. He's our he's our cat. But we're looking for any, if anybody would like to take uh, One Eye Willie and adopt him them, themselves, you know, officially. Yes. Oh wait, Dallas, you were, you raised your hand. Would you be interested? It's uh, my my best friend has uh, had a black cat with one eye, oh, and really? he had to give him away, and he he really misses him. So it's really funny because ah, I want to tell him about this. Well, there we go. Maybe we've well, made a connection. You know, uh, we might is, have. Uh, we've there's, 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 right there. there's a bit of a misconception. <laughs> Hold on. There's a bit of a misconception with the whole one eye Willie thing and stuff. When we first saw him, his eye was like sealed shut. We're like, oh, dude, he's only got one eye, right? right. Well, we brought him in from the coal, started warming him up, and the other eye started opening up. It's like crusted shut or something. So he like actually has two eyes. Yeah. Okay. So, but we're just going to call him Willie anyway. But, you know, he, he, he's not one one eyed but it is a really gnarly looking though. Yeah, it's, pretty it's pretty disgusting. It wasn't just scrapping it, it two it, weeks. He was hooking up with little other kittens. Got pink eye or something. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, hey, you know what? That's a good a point there, Preston. We're STDs. gonna be talking about STDs tonight in uh, the Traverse City area. <laughs> so. Uh, thank you for bringing of that up. You are. We, we <laughs> uh, it's a major concern, actually, it according is. to the health. You're going to have to watch back to the show after you get off the phone with us, dude, because uh, it's going to be great. Actually, Dan's going to read. Th- this is going to be the fun part, <sighs> is that Dan is going to read the uh, the the headline straight from the Record Eagle. And uh, we're going to, I'm going to have an on-screen counter that is going to be counting every single time that he messes up during the. Uh, I'm during not the a strong period. reader either. Like. <laughs> Out That's loud. Gonna be I like can the read. Gilbert Gottfried Fifty Shades of Grey audio book. <laughs> <laughs> it's really bad, man. So uh, we have some folks that are tuning in on uh, D Live right now. We yeah, are we up? we multicast on our show now, uh, Preston. I don't know if you knew that, but uh, we multicast on uh, uh, lots of different um, uh, programs. We're on, not only on YouTube right now. We're also on D Live right now, um, broadcasting live on um, uh, Twitch TV as well as uh, Periscope sometimes, I believe. But fuck Periscope. Who cares? But uh, we D have... D-Live sounds like a place you'd go to get an STD. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been saying that for a minute, dude. I've been saying that for a minute. But the folks on D-Live want to know what the fuck's up with your uh, lamp in the background there. Do you, do, 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 what? <laughs> oh, you didn't see my decor? Yeah, what's going uh, on? Is that your bed? Yeah, your room had a hurricane. <laughs> what's going on with this? Uh, that's my dad. Oh, hey. <laughs> hey, hey, what's brother? happening? Your dad's a rocker. He looks like, who's he look like? Uh, the lead singer Van, Van Halen. Halen. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So uh, your bedroom there, yeah, we, they, they want to know what happened to the, the lamp. No, what? I want to know your dad. Bring him back in there. Let's talk to him for a minute. He did <laughs> You've not... got a picture yeah. of Alfonso yeah. on your wall. For a <laughs> look at that. Your dad did not look happy. I think he'd be awesome for the show, man. He's oh, a rocker from way yeah. back. And Eliza. And Eliza. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> what are you doing? Let's, wait, let's talk to your dad. <laughs> I'm doing an quick. interview. He's doing an interview with the big, him. big, big show, man. Yeah, big let's, show. let's talk to your dad really quick. What's your dad's name? This is my dad, Scott. Scott, how you doing, Scott? What? Sideshow what? Nate right here, and this is Dan Strait over here from the South What's of up, the Strait bud? Show. How you doing? You got a big-time singer for a son. He's confused yeah, about the YouTube. He's okay. Yeah, he's doing good. He's doing good. Yeah, 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 man. Uh, probably to... not. Probably not rocking as hard as you rocked back in the day, though, right, man? Well, you know how we did it back in the eighties. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, dude. I love it. What's man. your name? By, by, you know, by the we, way, we 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 did it up back in the eighties. We rock and roll. Absolutely, man. Hey, you yeah. were you in a band? Were, were you, you? Yeah, were you in a band? Oh yeah. Really? 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 Did you play oh, yeah. instrument? Did you sing? Were you vocals too? Or what was up? No, nah, I was a guitar player, but, you know, backup vocals. Right? I can't oh, sing dude. like this guy can. Dude, oh, that I is so cool. Like are you, I mean, what are you what proud you of your son or yeah. what, dude? That's a, I mean, Your oh, son yeah. is, he's rocking. Oh, yeah, he can scream. Yeah, man. He can scream. He's, he's killer. He's great. Man, that's really cool that, that you guys so cool, can share yeah. that, that, you know, your dad was a rocker back in the day, jamming in a band, and then it's kind of gone on to you, and he's proud of you, you can look down. That's awesome, man. That is so cool, dude. Yeah, I that's think really that's cool, nice. dude. How I started playing a guitar, actually. So I, I was going to exactly. ask, like, did your dad had a, had a, have a, like, a lot of influence in your life, you know, like uh, growing up and uh, getting into the, the music scene like this? Yeah, all the music he always had around and his old vinyls. That I'd go through and. <laughs> oh yeah, that's awesome. And, and the, you know, the cassettes and stuff. 
Right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Good. The eight tracks back in the day. You know, that's what you guys were talking. Someone says on. Scott smokes grass, man. I can tell you. <laughs> he's, he's old school, man. You know what, everybody? No, I don't. Oh, well, that's good, man. He never thought that he was going to be having an interview with his dad tonight. We were going to be digging into some of this stuff. That's hilarious. I love He's it. like, Dad, why'd you show? Look, he took Dad right out of the screen now. He's like, Dad, all right, you got to go, man. Oh, wait, hold on. No, he didn't. Oh, there he is. We got uh, Heather Rainey uh, saying uh, White Snake. Uh, you know who Heather, <laughs> Heather Rainey is, uh, uh, Preston? Yes, I do. Okay, she's tuning in tonight. She said that you get. Did you guys? Uh, you guys just played a gig last night, didn't you? Yeah. Yep. I'm. I like just woke up a couple hours ago. Oh no shit! <laughs> how did no. that gig? How that gig go there, buddy? Yeah, yeah. How'd it, it go? Awesome, man. Get in there, uh, Dad. No we can life. see you lingering. Come Our on, boy. man. <laughs> Pull it in. Linger. That guy looks familiar. Which one? Which one? Side? Sideshow Nate from. Oh no, this kid here. Your kid. Pull back up. Oh, you're talking about me or the you, me or your son? Oh, right there. oh me. Me? Kind of looks like a bell on. In the blue shirt. Oh, that's me. Yeah, that's yeah, a, yeah, that's, that's me. the infamous sideshow <laughs> Nate. Uh, he was uh, he was on KLT for years. I don't know if you remember no, the not side that side Oh no. no. <laughs> Get out of here. What's up? Uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is what happens when he's a recognizable That's guy. That's me. How you doing? Hey, uh, uh, Scott, you just have right? One of those faces. Yeah, I got I got one of those heads. Maybe you passed him in a grocery store. Uh, Joker sixty nine on D Live says that your dad could be the lead singer for Crocus. Is that is that possible? Crocus. Yeah, I've never um, even heard of them. I've never even heard of Crocus. Sam, uh, um. Uh, yeah. Oh, it could have been. Could have been. Uh, <laughs> the guy for Van Halen, what's his name? Sam, uh, Sammy Hagar. Kinnison. Sammy, Sammy Hagar. 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 Hagar, yeah. Totally Hagar all the way, dude. I thought your dad was Hagar, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool, man. That's cool. That a lot. I, I, I bet. I bet, man. Do you're a big Bro, guy too, like you. Mid Michigan. <laughs> you look like you were kicking some ass back in the '80s as well, pushing some teeth in, dude. <laughs> put your hand up, like put your fist up. I want to see that shit. I'm not kidding. That guy's a gorilla, dude. He's huge. And look, you're no Preston. Line, Preston, you're a big dude too, man. <laughs> look at that. Well, imagine that coming at you at 50 mile an hour. Oh, we just lost Preston. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. Are you there? So his dad pushed a button or something. He leaned oh, in. The <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> This is, this is the greatest interview we've had for fucking ever. Oh, my God. Preston's like, it. all right, come on, next. Yeah, what have we gotten to? <laughs> Preston, it should be more like Presto because, you know, what? you you, you sound great, dude. You're doing, yeah, look at, there it is again. Look at there, there's that knuckle. They, they see it. They see it. Damn. Imagine that thing coming at you blindsided you at 50 mile an hour hitting you like a freaking brick wall, bro. Oh, man. I'm so pressed to I wanted to ask you about the uh, the the solo music, okay? Yeah. Now man. the uh, the solo music you did uh, recently. The one the one that we're going to be playing here is uh, the one by by uh, Slipknot. The one that you did of Snuff, um, which uh, oh, cool. I love that song as it was. But holy shit, you bring it to, uh, like a new element to it. Uh, why why was it that you chose to do a uh, that song in particular? <laughs> later. See you later, pops. <laughs> See you, Scotty. What was the question? Um, that song. It was just, uh, I've always liked that song. And uh, I was just looking for different stuff to do and took suggestions and stuff. Oh, and, did I? No, uh, that one came across. I'm like, all right, I've played that right 100 times before. So I'll just lay it down real quick. And. No, that's cool. Yeah, I think yeah. it came awesome. out good. Now you were saying earlier that uh, some people request different songs from you. Is that um, is that something that you regularly do? Like, do you come up with the ideas for like which song you're going to be uh, covering next, or is it generally people that are asking you to uh, cover a song? Um, usually it's just what I'm feeling that day, but I do take suggestions into consideration. Okay, right on, Dan. Even if it's not that specific song, even an artist might. 
Do I have a suggestion for yeah, a song? Yeah, what song would you suggest uh, that uh, that Preston should sing? Oh, I think that, you know, man. I mean, maybe we should ask. Maybe, yeah, you know, I don't know. <laughs> There's just so many that would fit him good, uh, you know. Um, I don't know. I'd have to think on that for a while. What about, like, just... some Billy Joel? Would you ever do a Billy Joel Get song? Get out of here. Are you really serious? I wouldn't even know where to start. I mean, dude. In the middle of the night. All right. You're oh, talking I go walking in my sleep. All right, dude, would dude, you ever sing that one? Dude, if you uh, did, maybe your career would like be over. when I was drinking a lot three years <laughs> no, ago. No, don't. <laughs> okay, put, don't, don't, don't exactly pick the bottle up. Do not pick up the bottle. Zero the street cred at that point. <laughs> you fuck. You'd be dried right up. <laughs> in the middle of the night. I'm, I'm walking, walking in my sleep. Elvis hey. it up. Yeah, we could do an Elvis song. Would you ever do an Elvis song? Yeah. Yeah, that's possible. Or maybe like some, got, like some Beatles. 500,000 cool. songs. You know, you're, you're talking so. about him doing some songs or whatever, and you're, and you're, now you're, you're talking like, like Elvis. What kind of weird genres are that? Like, hey, man, I'm, I'm a dude. I'm a product of like 90s music too, man. So, like, I love Nirvana and Soundgarden and like, you know what I'm saying? I love all those Seattle bands too. You ever think about doing any of their songs, man? Maybe do a, like a Rage Against Machine songs or Ooh. something like rap some shit. Um, I did do a Soundgarden song, so yes, there that's is up one. on my YouTube channel. Hell yeah. I saw that one on the YouTube Some, channel. Doing and... Alice in Chains or something like that. Hey, did you say something yeah. earlier? Didn't you uh, post something earlier, Nate, about Rage Against Machines coming with a new album? Aren't they dropping yes. a new album? Yes, soon, Rage actually? Against the Machine has got a, a, a uh, actually they're coming out and they're doing, um. well, you know, this is the thing is about Rage. It's uh, uh, an election year coming up. Yeah, and uh, uh, coincidentally, uh, <laughs> Rage Against the Machine is coming back out, and they're uh, dude. I have always doing... said that the reason that Rage Against Machine couldn't be allowed in this day and age is because they're way too pol when they get political, they're they're so influential on people. They are literally can start riots with one fucking song. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. put one song on, and the whole place is. Well, is getting torn about by police and shit and you know and like so it's a dangerous thing rage against machine is hugely dangerous to like the powers that be so i'm down with it because i'm like i rage against the machine as well fuck the machine fuck the government you, you know, know so I'm, I'm with that a lot of i think that a lot of people would think that them uh even coming forward with a political statement in this day and age they have the luxury of being so known that I don't think there would be any backlash on anybody's part, which well, is a, I'm, I'm, a I'm luxury not saying, for them. I'm not saying sure. there would be a backlash in a bad way. I think those guys can go out there and incite something in people well i think yeah. if anything they could uh, they could be so influential they they exactly you, they could change the way that a uh a vote could even fucking yeah. go yeah. you know they, i think they, that the the rage against vote, the machine what do you dude, mean like could... hey we're just gonna we're just gonna take the white house right now everybody posse up we're storming the fucking white house you know <laughs> like and people well, would follow well, we'll see what happens because he's they're supposed to headline coachella yes yes so. yep We'll see, we'll see what happens. See what happens at that you know what? I, I was at thinking, I was thinking about this too. dollars a ticket too. Wow, they are cashing in. Dude, I guess if you, you know, I mean, they haven't been working for a while. I guess four hundred bucks a ticket makes sense. You know? But you know what? When I talk about hey, storm in the White House, shit like that. I mean, if you really w thought about it, man, if like if we really wanted to take over the government, who would be the best group to storm the White House? Dude, it, it okay. Be, I'll tell you the group. It'd be a combination between Rage and System of a Down. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'll tell you the group that could successfully raid Washington and get away with it. Huh. Veterans. That's, because if all the veterans, veterans if all the veterans got together, no, politically, really. Oh, okay. That, like okay, if all okay. the veterans got together and like loaded up and went to take the White House, who would shoot at them? The military? Fuck no. no. Exactly. Would Fuck the police no. shoot at them? No, no. No one could Nobody's fucking stop them, them, dude. This, dude, Joe Rogan tells this amazing joke about this guy who actually broke into the white house and <laughs> really you have to watch it it is absolutely incredible i'm gonna look for that yeah, one I'm that gonna sounds look for cool that, that sounds very interesting man he's got some <laughs> crazy stories he like ran he got in the white house and not one shot was fired at him like you think there'd be bears roaming the grounds well, and stuff yeah. like that wasn't but, there a guy you know. that landed like a, a a helicopter plane thing in the white house lawn 
Remember that whole thing that went down a few, like five years I'm, ago or some I'm shit? I'm trying to remember. I remember, I know that that happened to Johnny Cash. Oh, did it? Yeah, and oh. um, the guy who did it ended up writing a song for him and becoming a success, too. Oh, and landed in Johnny I'm, Cash's. Yeah, yeah, Johnny. I would have to remember his name, but yeah. I remember the helicopter dropping on Johnny, Johnny Cash. That, that was a different incident. This was, this was I think, when this one happened, it had to be like 2016 or something like that. Mm -hmm. They landed, uh, and it was it was a gyro chopper. Remember those planes? They're like a oh, plane. Really? It's like a hybrid, a gyro. Alfonso Jeff. Seville, my friend. That. Look at that. I, I, you know, I really like that. It's almost that, like that picture looks like he's being asphyxiated or something. Or though. maybe, like he's maybe he's uh, he's feeling like he's ejaculating. That's true love. <laughs> it could be an ejaculation. He was thinking about his car. <laughs> <laughs> we're over here. We're over here talking conspiracies, theories, and shit like that. But yeah, yeah. There's some real shit going on. Fuck all that because the music's where it's at. That's what yeah, gives the us music our is totally where it's at, man. Every day. Mm -hmm. And uh, heart of heart of Jordan and Preston. I mean, you guys are fucking just blowing up right now. You guys have got a lot of shit coming for you. I think you know. I mean, you guys are going to be like the next big thing. Especially the fact that you guys working together. You know, it, heart sick and heart of Jordan. Like as a team, dude. Like that. That's a fucking. That's a. That's so. That's cool. a force to fucking reckon like, with, that right should there, be, dude. I that's mean, that's amazing, an honor dude. too to be able to work with Alfonso, <laughs> work with Heart's Sake because they're they're so they're so awesome, man. And he's such a professional, dude. He's got his shit together so good, you know. Well, so as far as a guy. front man, yeah. I'm not saying we, you uh, don't. I'm not just, saying you don't. I'm saying we just did it last night at the Loft in Lansing. Yeah. You guys yeah. Missed out on a good time. Yeah, it was no life in uh, uh, in you guys though, wasn't it? Yep, Heartsick did their annual. Uh, well, I don't know if they even do it annual. It might be biannual. They'll uh, put on the nostalgia shoes and do a whole set of the their music when they were no life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, yeah. which was awesome. That dude, is that awesome. Is, I, you guys, dude, you guys were like packed like three hundred deep in that fucking place, dude. I, I saw the photos. That was yeah. just incredible, dude. I, I think it's just so cool that you guys can pull together that many people the way that you do. Like, there's not any other bands that I see locally that are doing things dude. like this, and you guys are just you're fucking tearing it up, man. I love it, dude. The whole Michigan scene is incredible. Like last night, just last night alone. We were at the loft. Nagazi was in Lansing also at Max Bar. Oh, yeah. And a half hour trip away, my own will was tearing the roof off of the music factory in Battle Creek. Wow. So, dude, God, that's a, that's a nice hell and healthy. of a fucking combination. It is man. healthy. It's so cool. It's yeah, it's very, yeah. Up. It's starting to pick up. And you know what? It was kind of feeling dry even downstate for the longest time. But you guys know if it's starting to get a little wetter downstate, not so dry, things starting to pick up. It's come. It's moving our way. Yeah, things seem yeah. to happen up this way up north, but it takes a few it takes a, few, a little right. while to, for it to filter through. But we got shit popping here. That just that when there's a good thriving scene downstate, it's good news for us coming up here. That's so I'm excited. So, uh, the thing that does it. I think is that like a while ago, all the bands sounded the same. Not one band right. around here that puts in the work sounds exactly the same. Like my own will have their thing. Mm -hmm. um, we have yeah. our thing. Heartsick is even different than us. Yeah. And yeah. we have our buddies, let it rot. They're an amazing new band. They're just getting started. They have a completely different sound. Damn. Or Damned by Dawn, they're up closer to you guys. They have a completely different sound. Right, they're awesome uh, too. Yeah, we got a little bit our more buddies, diversity in the in the in the music scene now lately. Our buddies in Deep Fall, they're on their first uh, their first tour, and they have a completely different sound too. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's. Uh, I mean, I, th I think it's great, you know, I, I, and it's amazing, you know, that these bands that, you know, the ones that you just mentioned, Dan by Dawn, Deep Fall, you guys, uh, Heartsick, uh, No Life, er, not No Life, uh, you know, uh, Nagazi, um, you guys are the way that you're you're not giving up. And that's the number one thing right there. You know, you're not fucking quitting. You're not, you're not sitting. I'm sure that there's probably a little, uh, you know, a little bit of headbutting here and there in the band every now and then, but. You guys get through it, you push through it, and you, you, you do it for the greater cause, you know? And that's, uh, that's trying to make this thing a real-life uh, job, you know? I mean, sitting there going out there and doing this shit every single day, that's, that's real life. You have no idea. You should ask my drummer, Andrew, about that. <laughs> um, he played the show last night. He had surgery on a broken wrist a week ago. 
and has two screws in his wrist. Oh my god! Oh man! And, and he played play with a shit. cast last night. Oh. And it was uh, painful as fuck for him, I'm sure. But that's he love. Started, for the music. He started out great, but I looked back at the last song and he looked just miserable. He was just but dying. He he got through it and. That's a champ Fucking right there. Love that dude. Dude, I think that was so cool, man. You guys aren't giving up and you're pushing forward. You and you not only that, everybody's working together. You know, that's number one thing right there is that everybody has to work together to get anywhere and, and create this giant uprising, you know? And I I my hat's uh, my hat is off to you. My there it is. I, I took my hat off to yeah. you. My hat's off. <laughs> and without without cr- a crowd and people to play to, we're absolutely nothing. And people are starting to take notice of the scene around here and how great it is. And more people keep coming out to shows. Yes. Every time you come to a show, invite two or three people, bring right. them with yeah. you. They'll dig it. They'll bring three friends. That's right. Exactly. How the shit yeah, gets it's going. True. And it's, real uh, true. it's going. Well, Preston, you know what? Last time we had you on, we, uh, we put you in between two sperms. We're not going to do that to you tonight. Uh-huh. Uh, but uh, <laughs> yeah, that's. It. I did want to play your uh, your song, uh, the uh, the snuff song, uh, by Slipknot, as performed by as performed by Slipknot. But uh, as this is uh, the pre- how the fuck do you say that? Uh, it's slip. Uh, no, wait, it's uh, it's. I don't know. Snuff is what we're gonna play. We're gonna read play this, snuff. Read this. Read this first. I was just thinking about a cover. He okay. This is from uh, KA One Hundred One Music. I was just thinking about a cover today. He would so smash. I just heard it today. New Tom Kiefer, formerly of Cinderella, waiting on the demons. Uh, there's a there's a song for you to check out there, uh, 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 Preston. Yeah, maybe not Tom in particular, but Cinderella. I could see. Nice. Maybe do okay, yeah. There. Dude, oh, don't know what you got until Dude, it's gone. gone. <laughs> Come yeah. on. Dude, we, you, your dad knows all about that shit. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah he took he took me to see him one time. Fuck I bet, I bet, man. Your dad's cool as shit, man. Tell what? him we said what up, too. Well, we, uh, we are, we're we going to play your song, uh, Snuff, right now for the folks out there. And we're di- directing all of our viewers to go and check out Preston's uh, YouTube page. It's on the link down yeah. below in our description down below on the video here. Just go down there, click on his link, subscribe to it, and uh, subscribe to Heart of Jordan on there, too. That's, uh, that's also in the description yeah. down below. So, um, Preston, thank you so much yeah. for taking a few minutes and uh, chatting with us. Um, and sh- yeah. Definitely check out my uh, my original acoustic. It's called Carry Me. It's on there. Let me know what you think. Oh, that's right. You know what? I saw that one, and I didn't download that one. I Maybe I should grab that. I might play that later in the show if you don't mind. Cool. That'd be awesome. Sweet, yeah, sweet. Get well, some feedback on it. Thank you so much, Preston, for uh, chatting with us. Uh, please uh, go, right, yeah. go have a wonderful evening and uh, clean up your room. And um, <laughs> clean up your room. <laughs> Pick up that fucking lamp. What is that lamp doing there, dude? This is just a spare room where I could tape Alfonso and Eli's face to the wall. So okay, you got, okay, a, gotcha. you got a spare Alfonso room, <laughs> dude. It's the shrine room. The shrine room. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. All right. Well, uh, Preston, we will talk to you between now and then, man. Thank you so much for uh, chatting with us for a few a few minutes tonight. We're going to play your song right now. Yeah, all right, no. bud? All right, guys. Always fun. Dan, can't wait for your STD talk. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we'll talk to you soon. We'll have you back on soon, brother. All right. See you, bud. Have a good all night. Right, later, man. Later. Peace out, later, pops. There you Scott, go, everybody. Later. There is uh, Preston, Preston Malin from the band uh, Heart of Jordan.